Since their beginning, and currently as of 10.6.5, the contents of drop zones cannot hold audio. If you need audio sources to be used in sync with drop zone content, these are some techniques to consider. If you're editing with the intention of using a template that relies on drop zones, first assemble your sequence of desired clips in the timeline. After you've created your edit of clips, place your template where it belongs on the timeline with the duration it needs. Move the playhead to the start frame of each clip and use the Reveal in Browser command. With the playhead in the browser now at the correct source frame, place a marker using the M key. In the timeline, select the template for the title inspector to appear with the drop zone wells. Click each drop zone well and click on the corresponding frame marker in the browser. After all drop zones are filled, click Apply. At this point, the content within your template's drop zones should be lined up with the original clips on the timeline and everything in sync. In this scenario, we've edited together multiple camera angles as part of a live performance where the clips needed to be in sync with the primary music. If each of your clips have a unique audio source, such as a conference of people, all the previous steps apply, but you'll need to mix your audio separately. From here, what you do is a matter of preference. Depending on the template you used, you might need to disable or lower the opacity of clips you don't want visible. Another option is to detach all the relevant audio, then disable the clips that don't need to be seen. To organize the timeline, select all the related synchronized clips and create a compound. We hope that these tips will help you keep your audio in sync when using drop zones. Try out a wide supply of great audio and video effects at fxfactory.com.